One skein knits are perfect for summer weather. They're small, they're portable, they're great to carry around on your summer travels, and you might even get a head start on some of those Christmas gifts you've been meaning to knit for your family. Best of all, the patterns we're looking at today are all recommended by other knitters. Hey Nerdy Knitter, Tanya here. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a master hand knitter and the goal here at Nerdy Knitting is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. I love to do pattern roundups every month and this month it's all about one skein knits. We all love to have piles of wool in our lap, but probably not in the summer. So that's where those one skein projects come in. They're small, they're portable, you can travel with them, you can travel with a few of them, maybe get a head start on those Christmas knits and they knit up pretty quickly and they're not going to keep your keep you too warm while you're knitting them. Not like a big heavy wool sweater or blanket or something like that. So we're gonna look at some of your favorite one skein knits. I asked here on the community about your favorite one skein patterns and you had lots of great ideas. Now we had a ton of posts that just had like not specific patterns but just general ideas. Socks, beanies, washcloths, bookmarks, like a long list. And I'm sure you know small projects like that use one skein of yarn and you probably have some of your favorite patterns. And if you do, please recommend them. Leave a comment down below with your favorites. What we are going to look at are those favorite patterns that people recommended. Now, two of them, one is for a hat, one is for a cowl, and the rest are shawls. So if you wanna knit a one skein shawl, then this is the place for you. So let's take a look at those patterns. Our first recommendation was actually recommended by two different people. Rachel and Claire both recommend the Musselberg Beanie by Isolde Teague. Now this is a great, what I would call sort of vanilla pattern. It's a really great construction and it creates a double layer hat. So what you're doing is you're starting by working like a center out cast on. I'm not sure if this is the cast on or the bind off right there, but you're working from the center out and you're creating like the full crown the full shape of the hat the width that you the circumference that you want for the hat now then it's just a lot of plain stockinette until you work the same sort of shaping again but in reverse this time decreasing down to just a few stitches so you get like basically this long circular tube and you sort of fit one end into the other so you get a double layer hat what's really great about this pattern is what you can do with it i mean it's just a plain design just plain stockinette, but you can add stripes. You could actually do two different colors. You could do start with one color and then at the halfway point, stop and start another. So you get a double layer hat, but it's, it's reversible. So both sides can be worn on the outside. And she has a lot of different sizes as well. Six sizes from baby to adult and nine different yarn weights. So really a versatile pattern. So it's $11 Canadian, so the price will change depending on your location. But because of the six different sizes, the nine different gauges, this is like the one hat pattern you could use for all of your hat knitting needs. And it was just, it's a good, great sort of vanilla pattern that you can add lots of fun things to. So if you're also trying to get ahead on sort of your gift knits, then a bunch of these hats in the summer would be really simple, easy by the pool or by the lake knitting, but you could also get ahead on those Christmas gifts as well. So the next recommendation was for the Ice Queen Cowl by Rami Hill, and this is a free pattern on Knitty. This one has actually ended up in my queue because I just think it's such a lovely design. Now it is just some pretty lace, but it's one skein knit. You're using one skein of sort of that fingering mohair lace weight silk blend, like Rowan Kid Silk Haze or any of those, you know, it's a lace weight, it's a blend of mohair and silk. So it's just a lovely, lofty, beautiful yarn. And there's even bead work in here. And there's actually two different versions, a stockinette version right here this one is worked in stockinette and then the one up here is worked in garter stitch so a very pretty basic lace but that one skein if you have like that mohair and silk blend and add some beads and you have like this sort of delicate cowl it's just so lovely and even a beaded pico bind off so just such a pretty little one skein project so if you want to fancy things up a bit you know then this is definitely a way to do that. Just really lovely. So thank you for that recommendation. 
And now we're moving into a bunch of shawls. People really love their one skein shawl. So that's what we're looking at for the rest of this video. The first recommendation is from Beth. She recommends the Easy Goes It Shawl by Finicky Creations. Now this is the DK weight version, but there is also a fingering weight version as well. So it's an asymmetrical triangle shawl. If we can get one laid out here so you can see sort of the shape right there so you're casting on at a point over up on that side let's see right here yes okay so you're casting on it like a point right here on that little edge and you're working your shaping to get you this sort of triangle and then you're binding off over along this edge here so this one skein I would say like if you have a skein of variegated yarn and you're not sure what to do with it one of these one skein shells is probably a great way to use it and like I said, this one actually comes, this is the DK weight version, but I think there's a fingering weight version as well. And it's a lot of just plain, you've got some stockinette here, there's some garter ridges, there's some garter stitch, there's this mesh, nothing super complicated. So a great way to use up that single skein of yarn that you've got hanging around on your shelf. And it's also a free pattern. And then Liz recommends four different Hokey Locatelli shells. So we're gonna take a quick look at all four of these. And this first one is the Lone Skein Shawl. It's a really great name, and obviously it's going to use one skein of yarn. Now this one is $6 US, and it's a crescent-shaped shawl. So you can see there's the shaping right there. So you have, you start right here in the center, and you're working increases at both edges to give you this crescent shape. Now this one includes sections of garter stitch, and there's some slip stitches in there, that's really pretty right there. Some sort of design like garter stitch right here. You can see the slip stitches. They're slips. So you can see the long floats. So this would probably be another way to use a variegated skein. You can see some more of the design elements in here. And it finishes off with like a little bit of fringe as well with the leftover bits. So definitely a good choice for that single skein of fingering weight yarn or light fingering weight yarn in this case. So if you have like a stash of those single variegated skeins, these are good ways to use them up. Now her next recommendation was the Lightweight Hipster, which is another crescent shawl. Now this one has also uses sort of that variegated skein and we've got dropped stitches in here, which are always really fun. Um, I think this is called an Indian cross stitch. It's really fun stitch to work in lots of garter stitch and some fringe. So dropped stitches, crossed stitches like this, garter stitch, good ways to use a skein of variegated yarn and get some texture added to break up some of that potential color pooling. And it's also a crescent shawl, so you're starting in the center right there, working your increases at both edges to get that crescent shape, and then working all of these fun stitch patterns in there as well. So this one uses one skein of fingering weight yarn, and it's $6 US as well. Liz's next recommendation was the Venezia Shawl, another Hokey design, so another $6 US. This one is not a crescent shawl shape, though. It is one skein of a fingering weight yarn. So this one is worked tip to tip. You're starting at one tip down here, working this reversible lace. And then when you're incorporating the body of the shawl, it's just a very simple rib. So that's reversible as well. And then working down to the other tip. So if you're starting at one tip and working to the other, then you're going to be working some increases along the sides until you're at your full width, like you can see right there. And then you start decreasing down to the other side. And that gives you sort of this diamond shape. I really like the looks of this one. This is very like sort of a light, delicate shawlette. But when you have one skein of yarn, you're not going to get a giant shawl. You're going to get one of these smaller, sort of like a scarf, like she's wearing it here. More of a, 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 a scarf or a shawlette. And then this is another recommendation, the Storm Shawl, another Hohe design. Now, what's really fun is when you include dropped stitches, you can get something that looks a little larger, even though it's still one skein of yarn. This one also uses a fingering weight yarn. She has a lot of dropped stitches in here and that gives you that larger a slightly larger shape than you might usually get with a one with one single skein of yarn and again it's another great way to use a variegated yarn so this one is also a crescent shawl so you're casting on in the center working your stitches your increases at both edges but this one includes short row shaping in that garter stitch plus these dropped stitches it looks like a pico edge as well so there's 
lots of fun things going on here. So if you want a basic shawl shape, but add some short rows for some interest and lots of texture, really fun design. Carolyn recommends the Noble Knits shawl and Nancy from Noble Knits actually has a few that I really like. So I'm going to talk about a couple of them. Now this one is really very simple, great for beginner shawl. Like you're starting off at one point and you're just increasing along one side and it's all done in garter stitch. So it's really a great simple knit. And she uses one of those sort of like a shawl in a ball kind of yarns. So you get all of these fun variegated colors as you're working it. So, but there's actually not much work involved. You're just working that one increase along one row and then just doing a lot of knitting and you're letting the yarn do all the work for you. So she's got um, all the instructions right here. You can get the free PDF right from her website and she has a full video to go along with it as well. Now the other design that I really liked by Nancy is this ethereal shawl and it's so simple but it just looks so pretty. So you're using a skein of lace weight yarn but you're using size 10 or US 10 needles so like giant needles for this really fine yarn and that and it's just, is it, yes, it's stockinette stitch, but you get this, just this beautiful, lovely drape. So you have like this, you could use pretty much any lace weight yarn that you like. A mohair one would probably be really lovely. And then these very large needles and just plain stockinette rectangle, but it produces such a lovely fabric that it was definitely worth mentioning. And this one is also free as well. So if you wanted some instructions for that, there is this design, this ethereal shawl. Just very simple, a rectangle, no shaping. You're casting on all of the stitches and just working in stockinette. But because you're using a lace weight yarn and these large needles, you get this really open and drapey and lovely light fabric. And Melinda recommends the Trip to Pirate's Cove, another very cute shawl. And you can see this one is another great way to use variegated yarn. It's six dollars US. It uses a fingering weight yarn. So I think we all tend to do that once in a while. We give in and we buy some really pretty variegated sock yarn and then we're not quite sure what to do with it. Well, one of these shawls is a great way to use it up. Or the Musselberg hat would be another great choice. So this is also an asymmetrical triangle. So you're casting on at one tip and increasing along. Perhaps one edge might be two. I'm not sure what, what this pattern follows what sort of like shaping guidelines and then you've got like the dropped stitches in here which is a great way a great thing to do with uh, variegated skeins of yarn the garter stitch sections and then all of this lovely mesh lace so nothing very difficult but a great way to use up your fingering weight skein of variegated yarn so those are all the recommendations from other knitters but i wanted to share just three more ideas of my own designs that are one skein knits the first is a bulky knit hat this is another way to use up variegated yarn because of the, the slip stitch cables. You're sort of moving the yarn around and that can create uh, variations in those colors as well. Very simple knit and it does include some video instructions as well. Now the next one is the Color Adventure Shawl. This is intended to use one skein of color changing yarn. The kind that has really long color changes. In this case, it was a Gage Dye Works yarn that was intended to be used with a self-striping shawl. Now what I did here was every time the color changes, you change stitch patterns between like basic stockinette, garter stitch, there is some uh, sort of a texture pattern in here and then some eyelet mesh as well and then finishing with this larger band with some texture. Top down triangle shawl, but you want to pick a yarn that has like that self-striping involved in the yarn itself. And it finishes with a little pico etch. So that's a free pattern here on Knitty. And the last one is also a free pattern on Knitty. This is the Summer Lee Shawl. Now this one is knit tip to tip. You start at one tip and you're increasing just along one edge and then decreasing along that other edge as well when you get to the full sort of crescent shape. And it has like an integrated lace border here and there's a bit of texture in the body as well. So like a hand dyed yarn is really nice. You get sort of this fun striping effect from the yarn. So that is also a free pattern on Knitty. I hope you enjoyed going through that collection of great one skein knits and I'm sure you have a few ideas of your own. I would love to hear about them. So please leave a comment, share your favorite one skein patterns. It doesn't have to be a shawl, it can be something else. Anything that uses just a single skein of yarn, any yarn weight, 
with just one skein. What, what do you usually knit with that? And if you're looking for more ideas, go check out those comments to see what other knitters are recommending. And if you want to keep hanging out with me, here is another video sharing your favorite summer tops to knit. So click right there and I'll see you in the next video.